breaking overnight. All of this water from a main break in El Cajon and made its way into a woman's home, damaging most of her belongings. Look at the mess. She's just walking through this dirty, murky water. Tennis reporter Marie Cornell is there live. Marie, so how long will it take crews to fix this problem? Well, Preston, it will take them a while. They've been working on even just pushing the mud out of the streets uh, so they can begin working for about two hours now. And you can see they have made progress, but still quite a bit to do. And what we're noticing is, I mean, check out that sinkhole. It looks like it's actually gotten bigger since we've gotten out here. Meanwhile, while this is going on, one family is also dealing with their own kind of cleanup. Uh, Mercedes, you can see in this video, doesn't even know where to start. Uh, her home flooded, belongings destroyed, electronics gone, decorations floating around. She and her son tried to keep the water out, but it just kept flowing in because of this crew say a 12-inch line broke, sending water all over the place, flooding streets, uh, water reaching the tires of parked cars. Here is the driver who discovered the flooded streets and how he thought something was initially wrong with his car. I thought it was the sprinklers, and then out of nowhere, the truck just went sideways. Now, if you look around here, uh, there are a lot of businesses that line this street. We're told 16 businesses do not have water because they had to shut it off uh, to fix this problem. Not clear yet as to when water will be restored to them, but again, right now their main concern is getting this road cleared out as far as the mud so they can begin digging and then get to the pipe so that they can uh, figure out how to fix the problem. We're live from El Cajon, Marie Cornell, 10 News. Thank you, Marie. And can you believe it? Just a few miles away, another huge waste of water. You're looking at it next to me. Crews did work quickly to turn the water valve off after a car hit a fire hydrant. 10 News reporter Jared Aarons is there live. Jared, what a creative way they used an ambulance. They did because water was spewing out of this hydrant so much water that it covered the entire street and the water crews couldn't find the valve to turn off the water. It's right here out in the middle of the street. So they actually pulled an ambulance in between the valve and the hydrant to block the water so they could find where it was. Then they moved the ambulance out of the way so they could shut it down. You can see all of that effort in this video from our 10 News breaking news tracker. Once they found the valve, it only took a few minutes to get the water to stop. Emergency crews tell us the driver of the car lost control at about 1 a.m., slammed into the hydrant and also the tree next to it. This is just off the corner of Sunshine and Main in El Cajon, right down the street from the big El Cajon arch that goes across Main Street. Uh, the driver and a few passengers in the car all ran away, according to police. They are looking for them this morning. We heard there could have been as many as four people in the car. Meanwhile, Another waste of water this morning. You see the puddle still in the street from all the water that was flowing out of the hydrant. Well, this ground around the hydrant is still wet now also because even after the hydrant was shut down, these sprinklers were turned on at about 4 in the morning to water the plants that were already soaked from the hydrant. They still need to fix this. Water crews, we're told, will be out later today to take care of all of that. Live in El Cajon, Jared Aarons, 10 News.